Food and entertainment, but the historic West End District in downtown needs to attract more businesses to keep restaurants, retail, and residents from moving out of the area. JD Miles live for us outside the century old purse building that may be a step in a good direction for that part of downtown Dallas. JD, what are they doing? Can this historic building sat vacant for 30 years, so it took a lot of work over the last eight months getting it ready to hopefully bring new life to the West End. So how much of a challenge was this? Well, it was a huge challenge. We've been working the last eight months to clean her all out and bring her back to her original character. Things are looking up for Dallas developer Tanya Reagan. That's after turning a 105-year-old vacant building from an eyesore into what she believes is one of the most appealing office spaces in downtown. Very dirty job, peeling off all the layers. I would characterize it as a labor of love. From its industrial design that incorporates modern open floor plans along with elements of the old building, the purse hopes to attract high tech firms to a neighborhood that business leaders say needs more work traffic to support restaurants and retail. To see some of these buildings that have stayed dormant for decades and now they're opening and they're going to start having office space and retail space available is pretty exciting. You know, there is some risk when you go into a project like this. Certainly, we have made a huge investment. Reagan has $15 million invested in a building that no one wanted for 30 years that still needs air conditioning and new elevators. But the developer says she's already receiving offers. You know, I have a really strong attachment to this building. Uh, seeing how depressed and neglected it was and seeing how it looks now has just been incredibly inspiring to me. Now, phase two of this renovation is already underway. That will get it ready for tenants to move in and should be completed by the end of the year. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. What's old is new again. J.D.